how to set up PayPal to sell digital products. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a pay links and buttons into your PayPal account and integrate them into your favorite website or store to generate some money by selling your digital product. So for those who doesn't know what is PayPal, it is a um, an online bank and also a payment getaway that will help you to collect money from your clients by selling things for here sending invoices selling services and etc so all you need to do to success with this step is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go so right here we need a digital product so where can we find or create a digital product we can go ahead and create a digital product on canva and the digital product should be here set and also sold by setting up or preparing the two initial steps which is creating a cover for your digital product and then you are going to create the pdf version of that specific product if it is a psd file you are going to get the photoshop file ready illustrator and ai file is going to be ready uh, or e uh, ia like this and also a lot of formats so in here i'm going to use only a, a pdf version and also a photo or, or i'm going to let you see here a showcase photo version so we are going to add the digital product into our store in uh here in wix so we are going to head over wix then we are going to set up the catalog I am going simply to set up the product. I'm going to create a product and here we are going to use digital file. So you are going basically to upload the file content. So we are going to drag and drop here the files. So I'm going to put here the file or we can go ahead and put it or as a document. So wait some few seconds here we are going to upload the media or go ahead and drag and drop it here so it will be downloading the file then we are going to add a cover image which is going to be the image that we have created using canva which is this one this is the dashboard of our wix website here we have the website itself and here we have the dashboard of the website so we are going to use it right there and as you can see here we have it so we are going simply to add the product then you're going to put the basic info for example here ebook like that you can add a ribbon for example here you are going to add the description you can add the images right there so i'm going to add some images here we're going to set up here the image this is why i told you that we need two initial uh, things that we need which is the file digital file also the cover image of that uh file here so this is it site files i think it is set up i don't know so here we have it i'm going to add it here then you are going to set up the pricing for example 120 can go ahead and track the inventory but it is a digital product so we are not going to need the tracking inventory so here we have the ebook now i'm going simply right there to the uh, as you can see here the wix so either you can go ahead and set up the automatic uh here a checkout by accepting the payment methods for example here and you are going to add paypal as you can see here or you can go ahead and create a button so you are going to visit here the pages and then you are going to visit the product page and usually you are going to get here the all the products from here so i'm going to select here ebook then you are going to have this one so this is the product page you're going either to replace one of these for example you can go ahead and add uh, or manage here the product page for example you are going to set up the product settings or customize that page for example like that uh, customize the page i'm going to customize it 
for example, I'm going to put here a classic one, a thumbnail. I'm going to let it as this. And then you can go ahead and click on add element. So we are going to add a button and cover here our button from there. So we are going to cover up here the button, for example. And maybe you are going to add up here both buttons, for example, buy now. Uh, here, I highly recommend for you if you are going to use a most simplicity or simplicity website, you can go ahead and use Google Sites or GoDaddy. You can add uh, those buttons. But here, in our case, you should follow up here the uh, cart or the checkout process. So we are going to add it right there. Or you can go ahead and access here the button of or add a PayPal button. For example, here, we are going to search for payments. And here we can go ahead and have a payment button from Wix. So this is uh, an example. You can go ahead and place it here. And then you are going to have over or head over the PayPal, click on pay links and buttons here at the top. If you didn't manage or you don't manage to find the button from here on the quick links, or you don't see the quick links, you are going to click on pay and get paid. And here you are going to select from accept payments, payment links and buttons. And now we are going only to create here a button. So we're going to select a button. Create a product or service, for example, here, website. This is the checkout. Then the website ID, the price, for example, here, shipping fee, it is going to be here, uh, not applicable, rate, not applicable, for example. Uh, here we are going to customize the button. You are going to see here the preview, vertical pill, for example, like that, and etc. You can use or customize here whatever you want from the button. And the button text is going to be here. We have checkout or PayPal. Then you are going to customize the thank you page, which is going to be here. Here we have checkout the product and etc. So when you finish it, you're going to click on build it. Then we have this is the stack button. You're going to head over here and you are going to get a code. So we are going to copy it. Head over Wix again. And now we are going to add a uh, here a a uh, embed embed code html make sure that you're going to use here code update boom now we are going to head over here and add our button so it will show up in just a few minutes or just a few seconds for example like that so boom this and here we have it this is the custom button from paypal you can go ahead and add it right there and also they can uh, buy it from your uh, checkout or standard checkout on wix you can use this method for google websites or godaddy websites uh, from squarespace square or whatever so any platform that is going to build a website, you can go ahead and use this. So you're going to either integrate directly the integration from the payment method on PayPal, or you can go ahead and create a button or a payment link. And here we have it. So when a some, when a person is going to click on PayPal or checkout, they will get to this page or the checkout page, and then they will proceed to the payment. You're going to collect directly your uh, amount that you have been charging. Uh, directly to your wallet and this is it so thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i'll see you soon on the next one